What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys another 5 Cypher Kite with First Officer. And in this rank match, we'll be going against a Geisha on Moonlit. And I do spawn at first stop and that is where Geisha will start rotating towards. So right now, she's just going to try to scout out anyone who's in the area. And she did get a tinnitus pop and unfortunate butterfly over here so I realized that and I started rotating around the coaster and from here I did have to start using a pocket watch just so that I wouldn't be able to get hit by the geisha because as a rescuer what you want to do is you want to kite but not get hit because you are the one who decodes slower and you are the one who is supposed to make the rescue when needed so right now I'm just gonna be juking around, messing with the pocket watch, and right here I tried to throw down the pallet, but well, Geisha got the hit with her mysterious hitbox, <laughs> and so I from here I vault the pallet and I took the speed boost. A little hesitant over here to get to the roller coaster, but in the end I just took it, and so from here Geisha unfortunately wasn't able to take the roller coaster as well. So over here what I was doing was. Usually, the survivor would just get off the tram and the hunter will just continue chasing. But what I'm doing here is that I'm waiting for the geisha to make her move. Wherever she's coming from, I go from the other way. But from here, I thought she was going to butterfly over to the other side, which she did. So I just got off that side and used the pocket watch immediately. Because I am hit, all I'm going to do right now is that I'm just gonna try to contain her as much as possible and waste a lot of her time trying to chase me with this new OP pocket watch. And so from here I thought I could hit the pallet but unfortunately I couldn't. So with that, that pallet is wasted and now I am forced to loop this area and I will be going down in a matter of few seconds. And so from here I got down and it was a solid 3 cypher kite. And from here, Geisha only got her first presence. And there are already two cyphers starting to be worked on. So right now, my duo, the priestess, is gonna come in for the rescue. So. Geisha decides to destroy the global portal, gets a hit on the priestess, so she takes the speed boost, comes in for the rescue, Geisha coming in with the amazing dash, so scary, <laughs> and right now, I am getting tight turners, so I will be just wasting as much time as possible, and Prospector doing a few mistakes right here, trying to harass the hunter, but to no avail and so there's a really good dash here to close up the distance and so from here I am gonna be seeing my second time on chair still two ciphers remaining and I made sure I died as far away as possible from a rocket chair so it really buys a lot of time for the teammates to decode and as you can see, Doctor's uh, Cypher progress is about 80% and Priestess is about 30 So as long as they focus on decoding, someone could just come in for the rescue, pop it, and we should be good to go with 4 people up. And actually from here, all I was saying was like, don't rescue me and like, don't risk it, maybe you just go for the tie. And so Prospector does a pull here on the Geisha. And now Doctor just finished the Cypher. And she's gonna attempt this risky rescue. And look at how close I was to dying, dude. Oh, I was panicking so much when that was happening. And right here, I tricked the Geisha into dashing, breaks the pallet, and all I had to do was last here since Priestess was saying her Cypher is almost gonna pop. So right now I hit the hunter with the pallet and I pinged focus on decoding and right now cypher machine is popped, 4 people are up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna be trying to last as long as possible so that my teammates could get out. 
to secure a three man from here. Mind game the Geisha, did a pallet stun. And what I am trying to do right now is to get as far to the corner of the map as possible so that Geisha doesn't have any chance to pressure the exit gates. And so from here, it's just basic kiting, avoiding hits, and right now Geisha does get the down on me. And it is going to be a three-man win. So, yep, that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.